Hi everyone and welcome to this brand new video. Today I'm here with another great killer card trick. It's so amazing, it will mess the mind of your spectators, yet it is very simple to do. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, for this effect, I will need the two jokers starting on the table for now. And I will need my spectators because this trick is going to be all about their decisions. First spectator, please think of any number. Any number will do, let's say a small number from 1 to 20. Okay? Any number will do. Just pretend the spectator names the number 9. Okay? Take the cards yourself and deal now 9 cards on the table. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Mark the spot with one of the facing up jokers and place the remaining cards back on top. That simple. The second spag theater is supposed to do the same thing. Take the cards, pick a number, let's say 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and mark that spot with another joker and place the remaining cards back on top. Now imagine this, we started with the jokers from the beginning on the table. The spectators could really have named any numbers, we could have landed in different spots in the pack and marked different spots. Yet, one of the jokers is left with exactly this card on top. And the other joker is left with this card on top. Now, whichever cards these facing down cards are, doesn't matter. We will turn them around and add up the numbers, meaning the values will be added together. In this case, a 5 and a 10. So 10 plus 5 would be 15. Now, I want this to be very clean, so I'm going to keep the pack facing up. 15, watch this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now the 15th card in the pack just happens to be the four of diamonds. Now just imagine this. We could have ended up with different cards. It was all about your decisions and just coincidence that the 10 and the 5 were on top of the jokers. But there was a reason why the jokers have been on the table since the beginning of this trick. The randomly selected card happens to be the four of diamonds. And my prediction happens to be the four of diamonds too. So guys, here is now the explanation for this killer card trick. Now for this one, you will need the two jokers. You will choose a card that is going to be the card at the end that you end up with. In this case, I use the four of diamonds. And you will just make a prediction on the back of the jokers, the four of diamonds. Okay? Now the jokers start on the table since the beginning facing up and the four of diamonds is in our case going to be the 15th card from the bottom of the pack. Okay, so I'm going to place 14 cards on top of it. So it will be basically the 15th card now. In addition to that, you need two cards that equal 15 when added together. In this case, I'm using a 10 and a 5. You can really use any cards. You just have to end up with 15 when you add them up. One starts on top, the other one on the bottom, and you're ready to go. Now, you start off by introducing the two jokers. They will help you out, but they will stay on the table for now. Now, you need two spag hitters. You can also do it with a single spag hitter. It's best to do with two. Now, go to the first spag hitter and ask him to pick a number from 1 to 20. Whichever number they pick, you will give them the cards. They will deal the amount of cards on the table one by one. Okay, let's say they want the number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. It's important that they deal the cards one by one. Once they have dealt the number they had in mind, they are gonna take one of the jokers and place it on top, okay? And the best part here is you really do not have to know the number they deal, okay? So it can be really a number that they have in mind. They don't have to say it out loud. Once they have placed the joke on top, they should place the remaining cards on top, okay? So the instructions, what they should do, should be 
pretty clear to understand. Now you go to the second spectator and ask him to do the exact same thing. Pick a number from 1 to 20, let's say 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, take the joker, put it facing up on top, and the remaining cards go on top. Now you are pretty much done actually. At this point you can really recap what you did, and then take the pack, spread the cards until you reach to the first facing up card with that facing down card on top of it, in this case here. Whenever you reach to those two cards here, you are gonna split the pack, leaving that single facing down card on top of the joker, and cut these cards on the table. This is very important. Now take the jokers and put them apart. Now continue spreading until you reach to the second joker with the facing down card. Again, break here, place these on top, and separate the jokers from the other cards, and the remaining ones go on top. Now, you say, whatever cards these facing down cards are, you know it's one of them is the 10, the other one is the 5, you will add up the numbers, okay, the values. You turn them around, the 10 and 5 it equals 15. Once the 15 has been remembered, you can place these on the table or back on top of the pack, and you say, I really want you to see this, okay? And you point out that you really want them to see this because that's the motivation for keeping the pack facing up. Now you just have to deal 15 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And the 15th card is, of course, your fourth card, the Four of Diamonds. At this point, you can do anything you want to reveal that the Jokers predicted it right and show it is the Four of diamonds on the back of the jokers. And that's basically the explanation. As you can see, as this is a uh, pretty much self-working trick, very simple to understand, very quick for me to teach. I'm pretty sure you loved it. If you did so, as always, let me know in the comments below, leave a review. That's it, perform it, share your videos with me. I'll see you next time.